Let me share a Bible quote with you that has messed up a lot of people. It's in Matthew 5, verse 48. It says this, You, therefore, must be perfect, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Well, people think, gee, I'm not perfect. And they say, gee, I'll never be perfect. I might as well just give up now. Read it again. It says, you, therefore, you must be perfect because your heavenly Father is perfect and your heavenly Father is coming through you to perfect and to, to make things better than you could ever imagine. That God will bring a must-be-perfect into your career, a must-be-perfect into your relationships, that you'll have the perfection of the love of God come through you, the perfection of the health of God come through you. Health of mind and wholeness of body follow as you behold the eternal perfection that will be manifest in you. In prayer, I ask you to meditate on the idea of the eternal perfection of God. Now, not, this is not a, an afterlife proposition. It is eternal health in your life now. Without end, without pause, ever increasing as the truth of your being. And you behold the perfection of mind and body as true. God created nature. And as you view yourself from this high standard, you release all thoughts of imperfection, of sickness and disease and weakness, failure. You look to that image of perfection implanted in you, and you proclaim your oneness with it. God's will for you and the Creator's will is to create you in health of mind and wholeness of body, in health of career and wholeness of career, in health of relationships and wholeness of relationships. You open your mind to the ideas that produce health and wholeness. You yield all of the imperfect thoughts and the imperfect feelings that you have entertained, and you ask forgiveness for not keeping faith with God's vision of you as whole and perfect. You start this day with a clean slate. You give yourself a break. Upon the clean slate of mind, you write the words, and only those words, which honor your birthright of health and wholeness. And you know that health of mind and wholeness of body follows as you behold God's eternal perfection manifest in you eternally.